Number four, calculate the heat capacity in joules and in calories per degree of the following. And then we have letter B. In this case, we have to calculate the heat capacity of one ounce of lead. And that's all they gave us in the form, in the, in the question, right? But there are some things that we have to know to answer this question. And that's these three guys down here. I have two conversions and I have a specific heat value for the element that they gave us. PB is lead. Okay. Now this is a question, um, you know, um, like in a, in a textbook, right? But technically they shouldn't really make you memorize your teacher or your professor, any other specific heat value other than water, right? So hopefully the specific heat value would be on your quiz or test for you to use. Um, however, always check with your teacher or professor if they want you to memorize those specific heat values. Okay. So let's get started. We want to find the heat capacity. Well, there should be a formula, right? And it's right here. I'll put it over here. It's just C, capital C, equals M times S. And if we run through these, capital C is the heat capacity. And heat capacity is always in joules per degree Celsius, the standard unit in this formula. M stands for mass. And the standard unit of mass is in grams, if I'm using this formula. And then S stands for the specific heat of that certain compound or element. In this case, we're talking about lead. So I have to use the specific heat value of lead. And specific heat is always going to be in joules per gram times degree Celsius. Okay, so if we want to try to find the C value, the heat capacity, I should know the mass and I should know the specific heat of that certain element. Well, let's see. C equals the mass. Well, they told us that I had one ounce of lead. Technically, I need to convert that ounce into grams. I'm only allowed to use grams in this formula. But we know that one ounce equals 28.325, uh, 3495 grams. They're equivalent to each other. Whether they put 1.00, right, is the same thing, right? One ounce equals 28.3495 grams. So instead of putting one in here, I can't do that because I need the grams, right? So I'm going to put in 28.3495. I don't put in the units because that kind of gets a little crazy. I just, you know, memorize what unit has to be in there and I just put the numbers in. Now I got to put my specific heat in, right? That's the S value and it's lead. So you guys have to either go to a table to find that number, right? Um, and in this case, the specific heat of lead solid is 0 0.130. So all I got to do is just multiply them. Specific heat capital C is 28.3495 times 0.13. And technically, since we started off with three sig figs, we technically should end with three sig figs if we're playing this, this sig fig game. So I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to say 3.69. And the unit that comes out of specific heat, if I'm using the formula, is always joules per degree Celsius. So I got my first answer right? They wanted it in joules per degree Celsius. So that's 3.69. So this means for every one degree Celsius, uh, I have 3.69 joules of heat from the lead. Now, all I got to do is I just have to convert this into the calories. Now they gave us a lowercase calorie here. Be careful. Sometimes maybe on your quiz or exam, they might ask you to convert to capital cal calorie, right? Capital C for calorie and lowercase c for calorie are two totally different things. Capital calorie, capital C for calorie is actually a kilocalorie. We're not doing that here. We're just going to convert to the lowercase calorie. And that's the conversion that I put right here. One calorie, lowercase c equals 4.184 joules. So 
We've done tons of dimensional analysis, right? 3.69. We're going to take that unit. So 3.69 joules per degree Celsius. And I don't want the joules anymore. I want the calories. So multiply by that ratio, right? Anytime you want to convert. Put the unit that you don't want on the opposite side. In this case, it's going on the bottom. And the unit that you want goes up on the top. So I'll put just cal for calorie. Then use the numbers that you know in the conversion. One calorie goes with 4.184 joules. So the one goes with the calorie and the 4.184 goes with the joules. So here's the calorie, that's a one. Here's the joules, 4.184. Cancel out the joules, right? And now you're left with calorie per degree Celsius, which is what you want. So 3.69 divided by 4.184, since that's in the denominator. So 3.69 divided by 4.184. Keeping with the three sig figs, we get 0 0.882. And that's in now calorie per degree Celsius. And that's it. So here are your two answers. One's in joule per degree Celsius, the other one's in calorie per degree Celsius, but both of these are heat capacities. And there you go. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. Just remember this formula, all right? And just remember the units that it has to be in in order to use the formula. That's the whole thing here. So I hope you guys keep studying hard. Have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.